Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and man, oh man, do I have a treat for you today. Today we are looking at, surprise, a 45 foot double bathroom bunk model XL. So please, as usual, I like to start my RV videos from the inside out. Jody, go ahead and take her on back. This is a very, very special coach. So we special ordered this coach um, and it's got a really a bunch of cool little nuances that make it very, very specific to the owner, which I think that you'll really enjoy uh, learning about because you can do this too. You don't just have to take one off the shelf. You can get exactly what you want for your family. So this 45 BBC uh, Renegade bunk model is on the XL chassis. It has some really amazing features. So for instance, this is a 40 by 32 shower. I have all these little measurements, but if you look at that bottom number, 80 inches of overall height under the shower head, not to the ceiling. So for those of you that are really big dudes that want to have a lot of room to take a shower, this rain head is literally 80 inches from the ground. So what a fantastic amount of room. And then as you'll note, it's just absolutely luxurious. Renegade has really stepped it up in the XL. Of course, this XL is replacing that icon. So all of these nice features that you see in here are a reflection of Renegade saying, you know what? People want something that's rough and tumble, ready to go, but also classy and elegant. This is definitely it. So if you'll look at, for instance, at our mirror with the inlight or with the uh, backlit inlay, a really nice way to get lots of bright light into your bathroom area. I love this tile backsplash. Uh, you've got almost uh, 33 inches of space here on the counter. Also lots of drawer room. A great place to keep all your towels. And then a ton of cabinet space in here. And I think somewhere in here, oh, there it is. Um, I've got this written down. It's nine inches deep in here, but you'll note these are all adjustable cabinets. So this is a really nice way uh, to have your bathroom set up so you can really customize it and make it your own. And then as you can see here, tons of space in the back. Great place to keep towels, to keep your linens. Um, all of your cleaning supplies could go down below. And then as you can see, we have this beautiful lighting throughout the coach. So just giving you that warm glow, even underneath all of the countertop ledges. Just a great, great touch. And then of course we have our towel hook or a rope hook and then our towel bar on the outside of the shower door. So this is the first of the two bathrooms. Uh, really nice feature as well from Renegade as usual. These solid maple pocket doors are really, really uh, heavy duty. They're thick. They're going to give you lots of insulation from any kind of outside noise. So if someone's trying to sleep in, you can absolutely do that. Um, another fantastic touch is look at all of this beautiful lighting they have inlaid into this wood. And what I love about this is it's actually covered. So there's a nice plastic film over the top of it. It's not going to get all dusty. It's going to be really easy to take care of. It's going to be uh, something that will also give you a lot of pop for a long time to go to come. And then if you'll note, you have not only your side windows for ventilation, but you also have a rear window for ventilation. And that window opens so you can have all three of those windows opening, letting all of that beautiful forest smell come into your coach. Of course, we've got our great overhead storage and then touch pads here to control everything. So you don't have to use your app, but this is using the Firefly app. So you also have app control in this coach as well as some great drawer storage here. And one thing I'd like to show you and make sure you note in this XL, all of these are nice dovetailed solid maple cabinets. So really, really nice build quality. You've got three of those drawers. And then this space here is really awesome because it actually is 51 inches long and 13 inches tall as well as 13 inches deep. So you can actually put things all the way through here. So if you've got anything longer that you need to store or if you just want to use bins, a 13 by 13 opening and then 51 inches total across. Um, of course, I'm doing all of this for Diana. She's got to get everything set and ready to go for her first racing uh, weekend in her new XL. 
want to make sure she has all the information here in your telematics cabinet please keep in mind this coach has a lot of capacity for television and movies of course with a bunk model you're probably going to have kids you're probably going to have different people watching different things uh, this coach has not only a traveler system but also an in-motion satellite system and then here at TransWest, we're going to go ahead and install the mobile app of Starlink. Uh, this family does a lot of racing on the weekends. Uh, they spend a lot of time in their RV. So that mobile satellite track site, of course, is going to be a great way to be able to download Hulu and anything else that you might want to watch. And now if you look here, you'll notice some, some interesting features. First of all, I love the way these lights are inlaid into the door uh, into into the door so instead of having them above it actually is going to illuminate your clothes but if you look to the back there you see that beautiful cedar lined cabinet how decadent and I mean that's kind of a small amount of space right no not so much so I love this floor plan look at all of this hanging space and look at how much access you have to it such a great gift here in terms of overall storage. Of course, if you wanted to put your shoes in here, you could access them from the front or you could open up this big cabinet. Uh, your 43 inch smart TV is going to be anchored into place. You just have to snap it here. And then there's these two little knobs here to secure that. And of course we've got our Bose soundbar, our Samsung smart TV, really lacking in nothing. Uh, now, one of the things I think that's also interesting, so we talked about that great headroom in the shower. Well, that means you need a tall or long mattress. This mattress is 80 inches long, 66 inches wide. And then for those of you that are always looking for sheet measurements, this is about nine and a half inches deep. So you probably want to get that 10 inch pocket uh, on your sheet set when you order those online. Uh, now, again, what great feature of Renegade, these very solid pocket doors. This is a super, super nice feature of this coach. And I love this interior color. So it's a little gray, it's a little taupe, it's a little peachy, it's warm, um, it's not cold. Uh, this is called Cape Cod. So this Cape Cod is paired with the Haven decor. And then one of the th things that uh, the that Diane, Di, Diane wanted to do when she was doing this is she wanted to have a darker grout put into this floor because she does have kids um, and they are trackside oftentimes and there is a lot of floor traffic in here. So beautiful flooring with that darker grout really lets that, that tile pop. And then another thing that we did is we wanted this all to match uh, their, their race trailer. So we took uh, the exterior color of Zenith, we took the red out, we inserted black. So this is a custom color uh, based off of Zenith with no red, just replacement of black, and it looks fantastic. Now you'll note we do have the optional televisions here in the bunks, opening windows for the kids, day and night shades, and then you'll see over here they have control for all of their lighting. They have USB, Type-C, and two 110 outlets. And then this is what it looks like with the curtains closed. Now uh, you'll note that this ladder is built in, so when these doors are, or when these slides are closed, uh, this is a, a three slide unit. You can still get by, but you still have your integrated ladder with you at all times. And then also really big pocket doors here for uh, the kids. They can definitely fit a lot of stuff in here. And then these are the remotes for the television as well. So two remotes, three big drawers, and then this is the optional full length mirror in the center. And one of the things I really like about this, oddly enough, is the fact that below it, you've got these two 110 outlets. But if you're like me, I am blow drying my hair right here in front of this full length mirror every day while I'm getting ready. So this is my spot. I'm totally stoked about this setup. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, now, when we get into this bathroom here, I wanted to measure this shower because it's not that big, but you know what's really interesting is it's actually totally fine. So this is 20 inches deep, but it's 34 inches wide. So this is actually totally fine. And as you can see also, it has all the storage for your washcloth, for your shampoo, your conditioner, your soap. You've got a little place to hang your towel here as well as on the outside. So overall, I give this bathroom probably a nine out of 10. If you were kind of a heavier person, it might be a little, a little tight. Not that I'm the thinnest girl in the world, but uh, definitely enough room for a person to take a nice, comfortable shower. And as you can see, the shower head on the side goes way up. So you've got plenty of options for getting that water to come down and keep you warm. 
Uh, now we didn't talk in the back about the toilet, so I should probably go back there and sit down just so you can see how much room you have. But these are both really nice roomy bathroom areas. And then as you can see here, a ton of additional storage as well. And then a really cool medicine cabinet. This is a little more like the traditional medicine cabinets that you see in Renegade that without that inlaid black backsplash or I'm sorry, that inlaid lighted mirror. Uh, but this is a great place to keep all of your band-aids, all of your, you know, um, suntan lotion, all of those things, hair dryers, all that stuff. And then there's a ton of room underneath in this cabinet. And then as well, you have a place to keep all your TP and all of your cleaning supplies under here as well. So. Overall, again, really nice bathroom setup. Uh, one of the things I totally loved is the flooring here with this nice, I'd call it a linear drain, but it's more of a square, but still super, super cool. And I love this Haven decor. I love the tile setting with this. I love it paired with a tape cod. And I also love the fact that they've got another towel rack for me, or I'm just, sorry, robe rack for me. I love the robe hooks. That's a big deal for me. I use them all the time. Uh, now you'll notice that we have our zone control up for our lighting. Uh, we have a whole bunch of different lighting underneath our, uh, our slides that we can use. So this is kind of a nice place to be able to see it. But one of the things I think is so cool is if you go here and you download your Ellipse mobile app, you can do all of this stuff on your phone that you find here on this interface. So I can see my, uh, my fresh water tank, which is 150 gallons, is empty. My gray water tank, my black water tank, both are going to be 75 gallons. They're empty. I can turn my water tank, I can turn my water pump on. I can turn on my tank heaters. I can also uh, turn on my aqua hot either through the burner system without being plugged into 50 amps. So this burner system for aqua hot will work off of your diesel tank. You have 120 gallons of diesel. The hot aqua hot electric is also running off of a 600 uh, D aqua hot unit. So that's the big dog where they go 250, 450, then 600. So that's a big deal as well. And you can also preheat to get your engine warm before you take off so you don't get that annoying error code. You've got all of your light controls here. As you can see, you can go in here and get to your RGB setup, red, green, blue, I guess, uh, rear lighting, front lighting, everything right here in the middle. Then you'll notice that you've got your 15,000 BTU air conditioning system is set right now to auto. You could use a heat pump. You could use Aqua Hot, or if you wanted to just have your fans on, you could also just run fans. But you can also control your bay temperature so you know what your bay temperature is. Again, very, very easy to use. Um, your in motion satellite, you can also operate this or deploy this uh, with your phone. And then, as you can see, we talked about that, set, that slide setup. This is a three slide unit. And then also, you can extend and retract your awnings from both your phone or from inside or outside of the coach. And then everything that you have here is so cool because you can go in here and you can actually go into your network diagnostics and see how your coach health is doing. Uh, so that's a great feature. Another nice thing that they've done on this coach is they've taken your, uh, all of your battery information and they've put it in a cabinet here. But of course, typically we were always seeing Renegade pair these together. Instead of doing that this time, what they did is they gave us these great beautiful pull-out drawers. Uh, this drawer, for instance, is 14 and a half inches wide. It's 20 inches deep, and it's just under 11 inches, or just over 11 inches tall. So very, very good clearance going in and out here. And then also you've got these smaller drawers. So, you know, if you've got things like tea, honey, coffee filters, things like that, versus your larger, uh, your larger bin storage, now, keep in mind, one of the reasons I go through all these measurements is because you can get those XOXO containers, but you need to know how tall to make them. So by giving you these measurements in advance, when you come here and you go through your orientation with Wade Phoenix and you start camping in our campground, instead of wishing you had all the right stuff with you, I really try to give you the information that you need to be able to bring it with you. Um, so as I was saying earlier, we've taken our little control panel here versus our breaker box and we've separated them which is just great because at the end of the day, you're not going to be going into that higher cabinet or lower cabinet very often, but you'll be spending a lot of time in this huge pantry. So very nice idea by Renegade in separating those and giving you that full utility. Now again, here next to this chair rail, you'll see this inset lighting once again. I just love the way they put this nice hard plastic cover all the way over. And then you'll notice that I have our nightshades deployed uh, in this coach. Um, I wanted to just show you, I love the way this oatmeal 
nightshade look. So this is a really great blackout shade. It is a power shade by MCD Shades. Um, you'll notice that I had to keep that on the side of the uh, refrigerator because, oh, I'm just on channel one. Let me go to all. Uh, because there, this is not magnetic. This is that really cool new Samsung refrigerator, so it doesn't have a magnetic face. Now, over here in this area, now that you can see I've got it open, you've got ventilation all the way through this whole entire slide-out unit. You also have touch control here uh, right underneath your wall sconce, so you've got a really nice centralized location if you don't have the coach uh, synced to your phone. Uh, and then here I wanted to just to point out these are about eight inches. When I say eight inches, it's including this little bump here. And then the 21 inches wide is really from here to the inside of that metal hook. Because if you've got a box that you're trying to fit in here, I didn't want you to get hung up on it. It's actually about 23 inches wide, but these come in quite a bit. And then in terms of the overall depth to the inside of here, uh, you're about 16 inches deep. So if you're looking to get some shoe boxes that you can label, you can go all the way down the full expanse of this coach. If you decide to do that, I would highly recommend getting a label maker and labeling everything A through Z. That way you're not relegated to trying to figure out where you put something. You can just remember kind of where it is within the alphabet and get to it that way. Now this does have the optional stackable washer and dryer. I love the placement of this. You can do all your laundry going down the road. Um, this coach does have a 12.5 kilowatt generator as well as four lithium ion batteries that are 270 amp hours a piece. Uh, so you can run your air conditioning going down the road without having your generator on. But if you wanna do all of your laundry, microwave burritos, and make me a sandwich, you can do all of that as well. All you gotta do is flip that generator. And again, you can do that from your phone, which is just such a nice feature to be able to start and stop things from anywhere within the coach. Uh, down here is the water shut off. So if you're wondering if this is a drawer, it is not but it's still treated very professionally. It's nicely hinged, very solid. Um, and then I love the locking mechanism on Renegade always. So one of my favorite things about uh, the locking mechanism on the Renegade is that it's visible. You can see that everything's closed, but look at this cool new refrigerator that we're seeing. So we used to only see this in the icon and again, with that icon no longer in manufactured production and this XL replacing the icon as being the uh, the crown and, and the, the or the jewel and the crown of Renegade, uh, they've got this really beautiful refrigerator, but take a look at the storage capacity in here. Holy mackerel. So you have an on-door water and ice dispenser, huge separation of space for all of your uh, all of your vegetables. They still have my little Prosecco holder, and then you can adjust these shelves. There's two different adjustments, so depending on what kind of things you're bringing with you, but very, very nice refrigerator here. Of course, this is a 22 cubic foot Samsung. Look at this. I mean, so much room for your meats and cheeses. Great way you can separate everything. And again, these are all movable, so you can adjust where you're putting these in the coach or in the refrigerator. And then look at this refrigerator or this freezer. So beautiful, uh, so deep. And keep in mind, this is, this is just the inside freezer. We also have an outside uh, freezer as well mounted in one of the bays underneath. And again, when you're ready to go down the road, you just take this, pop it in there, slide it down, and you know everything is locked. So you're not gonna have to worry about that door uh, coming open while you're driving. Now, when I say that, it's from experience. So I have a 2022 Numar Superstar, and they have a really cool latch that you can barely see. It makes it look like totally residential. The only problem is sometimes you don't have it latched and it comes open while you're driving. Okay, so that's not gonna be there all the time, but it's a great place so you don't lose it. Um, I'd probably put it in the drawer when I'm driving. Look at all this space up here. I love this. This is absolutely where I would store all of my breads. And I keep everything in bins now because I had mice once and I was like, that's kind of gross. So now all my dried goods that the mice can smell go up in a plastic bin above my refrigerator, like my bagels and hamburger buns, all those things. Um, now in this seating area, you'll note that we have two seat belts here. Um, also this table is about 40 inches deep and 22 inches wide, the cushion area is also about 40 inches deep. So lots of seating space. One of the most um, 
impressive thing that Renegade does is they make very generous seating areas for their uh, for their patrons. And they do it while maintaining walkability in the coach with the slides closed. So we will look at that today. Uh, but before we get to that, let's cover a little bit more about this kitchen. So I liked my Renegade Verona's um, cooktop so much that when I built my house, I did an all-electric true induction cooktop as well. Um, with this cooktop, one of the nice features of this, of course, this is a bunk model coach. You might be just using it for storage, but if you're using it for littles, if you put a paper towel down on this cooktop and you boil a pot of water, that paper towel will not catch on fire. What is so cool about this cooktop is that not only does it heat to a precise temperature either by degree, for instance, I set mine to 360 degrees for eggs, um, but it also has a one through five setting. It operates at the same uh, level of heat at a higher altitude as it does at sea level. So that's one benefit of it. But the fact that it's so fireproof is also fantastic. And then I love this idea by Renegade to make these beautiful solid uh, uh, cutting boards on the on the inlays. So with Numar, we have a pretty one that has kind of a countertop that's matched decoratively. But I love the idea that you could just flip it over. So if you get one that has a few knife marks on it because you use it a lot, you can use this for your storage side and flip it over whenever it's time to cut something. And they give you another cutting board by Cross. This Kraus cutting board here is a um, bamboo cutting board, super nice. As you can see, it covers one half of the sink area here. They also give you this really cool cover uh, by Kraus that covers this other half. And as you can see, you've got a place if you wanted to wash your vegetables or maybe put your silverware in here just to dry, you can do that. And then look at underneath in this sink, very, very huge uh, deep basin stainless steel undermount sink. Of course, our uh, faucet head is spray and pour. And then your day shades are uh, going to be manual while your night shades are going to be power. So like this kitchen a whole lot, they've done a great job with it. I can roll this out of the way, keep my cutting board in place, uh, have something that is also, as you can see, a little bit deeper than the, than the edge of the countertop here, which means if I put my phone on here, and Lacey takes a hard right, the phone's not gonna go skittering onto the floor. So really like that aspect. Of course, if you watch any of my videos, y'all know that I'm a huge fan of a scrubby drawer. And then I don't know how come no one else can do this. Not only do you have a big old subwoofer in there, but you have plenty of room for a full size trash can. In fact, you can take a silver one for inside a blue one for recycling and a black one for outside, stack them all together and put them underneath this cabinet. And then you have all of your cutting or all of your trash cans labeled so that people know where to put their recycling and the like. Um, as you can see here, really great drawer storage, right? Okay, ready for the coup, coup, the coup d'etat? Take a look at this. So I know we talked about that subwoofer that's gonna be paired in here with your Bose sound system. Uh, this is the Samsung remote for your television. Again, another 43 incher, but check this out. You could also keep everything down below so you could put your silverware on top and have a place to actually still keep your remotes. Genius. Um, and again, just super nice, high quality construction. Uh, Renegade has done such a good job on this coach. Uh, now I want to show you as well uh, the sleeping area here because you've got two 30 by 80 bunks. You've got your, your king size bed, right? Your RV King 66 by 80. And then this villa furniture, when I pull these, uh, these uh, seat cushions, I actually have a hide -a bed here, which is so nice. And I love that I don't have to remove this top cushion to get to my hide -a bed. Uh, just less cushions to have to stow throughout the coach. But as you can see, really nice queen size hide -a bed. And for those, again, of you that are looking for measurements, I know that not everyone likes them. If you don't, we've got a lot of other people that make videos here. This is a 70 by 51 mattress. And it's memory flex, memory foam. It's super comfy. Um, if you had an adult that had to stay with you in the hide -a bed Yeah, they live. Super nice really really cool feature of this coach you've got so much flexibility in here 
in terms of where to put people. You could go yourself, bring your kids and their kids. Oh, by the way, when I say that, there's three seatbelts here. So I know we talked about the other two that are in the booth, but there's three more here underneath. And then you'll notice that Renegade did take the time to angle these Latimer Quins down so those are not going to interfere with you when you're sitting in the, uh, in the couch area. Uh, this couch is about 70 inches wide. Now, um, let's talk about some things that really make a difference uh, overall on this coach. Oh, beyond the two 110 outlets on either side with USB ports and type C's. Of course, anyone who's got kids knows how important it is to be able to have all devices charged with all the Snapchatting and FaceTiming and I mean, my daughter doesn't call people. She FaceTimes all of her friends. I think it's so weird because I like to see that they're like getting ready for bed. They've got their hair all tied up and they've got their masks on. And I'm like, there's no way I would be FaceTiming someone right now, but that's okay. Okay, so uh, more storage up here in the front. As you can see, did I go too fast, Jody? I can always go back if you want me to. Um, again, tons of room up here. Just a great place to keep all your birding books. You can keep a, a bin full of all of your sunglasses. Um, as we talked about earlier, you've got HD uh, satellite receiver. You've got in-motion satellite receiver. You've got WineGuard connectivity uh, for your Wi-Fi, which is going to be a cellular-based system. And then we are adding Starlink uh, to this coach as well. But what I was going to say earlier is, so first of all, when you get into this cab, there's a ton of room for stuff up here, like great space for your sunglasses, um, for your cell phones, for dog leashes, whatever it is that you may need up here, uh, but also a good place for you to be able to put your uh, CB radio if you want to have one of those. But more importantly than anything else, Daimler's partnership with Detroit Assurance um, in this coach is very important with this coach. So one of the things that you'll note is, you know, so Daimler, of course, we all recognize that name from Mercedes-Benz, um, you know, that partnership that started in Germany so long ago. But when you have a company like Freightliner that's owned by Daimler partnering with Detroit to give you the most uh, advanced driving system while you're going down the road, this is a huge feature. So. A lot of times when you're driving a coach like this, you wanna make sure you have good connectivity in front of you. So we can see everything here in front of us. I can see my, my, di my distance control. This is very much a high-end Mercedes-Benz distance control feature. So this LED dash that's absolutely clear as a bell, very easy to read, showing you where you are in terms of fuel, uh, showing you and what kind of air you have going into your airbags. I mean, everything here is so easy to read. But then you can go through these menus and you can change like, how close you're tracking the vehicle in front of you. Um, so you are really going to have a lot better control in this unit if you are going down the road than you would in anything else. But more importantly, if I just go here, for instance, they've got all of these hard buttons where I just touch that and I can look and see what I am inflated to. I can also see my temperature, you know, so this kind of information being easy to access is so important. And of course you want to have your phone, you want to have your radio, you want to do all of those different things, but you really want to be able to make sure your coach, when you're going down the road is easy to see and understand. You can even see the battery life in your tire pressure monitoring systems. And of course, this coach has uh, the upgraded um, hitch receiver in it, so it can carry um, up to 6,000 pounds of downweight uh, for its stacker trailer. So these ratings are very important for you when you're towing something big. And of course, also, we've got our air supply. So you've got air brakes on your trailer as well as your coach. You can integrate these uh, air brakes into your tow vehicle as well. But another great feature of this, because you're in this, uh, this uh, eight, I'm sorry, 10 tire axle system, you have 
the ability to lock your center diff or your rear diff. So you can actually lock this diff if you've got a heavy load and you're trying to get going and you're in a sandy surface, especially track side or horse track side even. Um, just great that you've got these locking diffs in the back. You can also lower your uh, suspension height in the rear so that you can load a vehicle easier. Um, and again, once again, easy to turn off your lane tracking package. So if you don't want your lane tracking package on because you're going through a, you know, a windy area, go ahead and turn that off. If you want to turn off your, uh, your uh, what, ABS braking system uh, or your traction control system, I'm sorry, traction control, you can turn that off as well. So very, very cool. Uh, you can turn on all your lights. You can illuminate your footwell if you drop your keys. I always have a hard time seeing things at night. Um, but this little light test uh, um, button is going to be the one that you would turn on and then watch all your lights cycle through in the back to make sure everything is functioning appropriately. And then two type C uh, ports here, as well as your Garmin navigation system. Now you'll notice I have this system here where I can be tracking my temperature on my tires, whatever kind of air pressure I have in them, for instance. Here I have my navigation. And then here we have our Voyager camera system, which is dedicated to being able to see the back. And in this coach, we did opt for the extra camera. It's down low above that 30,000 pound hitch receiver. And the reason it's down there is if you're loading up a stacker, you know how important it is to be able to line up and see what you're doing. So this cab here is probably one of the most important features of this RV. But you'll notice that I can control all of this here just by scrolling through i have all of my chassis controls at my fingertips just like i have all of my control for my dash over here just at my fingertips so i can go through all my different menus uh, just by cycling through just by touching uh oh volume <laughs> so like i said i've got everything just at my fingertips really nice but I also have touch control. So this touch screen is gonna be very, very handy for you. You can go into all your settings. You can also choose starred menu, um, a starred menu where you can set your favorite address, your favorite radio station, whatever that might be. But again, this Freightliner uh, P4 Cascadia chassis is so driver centric. So for those of you that are looking for a coach that will take you over the road very comfortably for the longest haul, this is definitely it. Um, also, you'll notice that we have stock control, which is great because it also gives us our ability to have our big three-stage engine brake. Now, keep in, keep in mind, your engine brake is going to have performance predicated on the displacement of the engine. So this is the DD16. This is a big engine brake. If you've got something heavy and you're going down the hill, it's going to keep you from getting too fast, very much so. Um, and then down here, you'll also see we have our wiper control and then our turn stocks. But because we have our, um, because we have our uh, transmission on our stock here, we also don't have to have that interface that you saw. Uh, this is the Detroit 12 speed. So this is a towing vehicle. This is again, special ordered for a family that's gonna be towing a pretty heavy payload almost all of the time. So we have that 12 speed transmission in this coach. If you're interested in understanding the difference between the Allison and the Detroit 12 speed, very important to make sure that you're getting the right transmission for you. Um, not everybody needs a 12-speed transmission. This is going to be something for someone who's pulling a heavy payload most of the time, and that is this family. Uh, so this little, uh, it, just a little adaptable uh, trailer brake, just nice to be able to turn it up and down. Um, again, this whole entire chassis is probably the most important aspect of it. Of course, you've got power mirrors that are heated. You've got power windows, power door locks. Um, You'll definitely feel like a boss in here. And the most important feature of all of the entire coach is I've got a place where I can do my lip gloss while I'm driving. Yeah, you guys, we totally put on lip gloss while we're driving. We have to look good when we get there. Come on, let's be real. All right, so, oh, did we do it? <laughs> it's got two horns. Yeah, but this is good. Cause I mean, if you're like not trying to be rude to someone, this could really, it could scare somebody, right? Okay, so anyway, uh, tons to cover up here in this cab, but that's really, I wanted just to make sure I mentioned, you know, how nice this, this chassis is for the driver of this coach, how well this integrated, um, you know, safety assurance package is, you know, it's got a camera that's reading the, the, the speed limit signs. So if you're in a construction zone 
and that speed limit's not paired with what Google would have had on file, you're not going to get that speeding ticket because with 600 horsepower and 1,850 foot-pounds of torque, you could definitely get going too fast in this coach in a construction zone and get yourself a ticket. But with that visible, with that um, with that camera control of your speed limit alert system in, integrated into your coach as opposed to just going off of a map, it's going to give you that, uh, that heads up in advance. And again, lane tracking, so blind spot assist, I'll show you those on the outside when we get out there, and then that adaptive distance control as well. Everything that you're used to having on your high-end sports car is going to be integrated into this coach. Now, uh, for the protection from the sun, we do have these integrated curtains. Um, you'll note, I'll tell you, my experience with these Freightliner, of course, this is a this is a very uh, the P4 Cascadia chassis is a very common chassis for Freightliner. They make a nice mylar backed roll-in shade. If you're trying to keep heat out, I would definitely use that because this curtain will allow the heat to come in and it'll kind of waft into the coach. Um, but if you're trying to get the coach warm, you can go ahead and close this and it'll allow the heat to come in. It'll hit this dark dash and it'll get warm in here nice and quick. Uh, now you'll note that these seat belts have this kind of little swivel deal here right here. It's because these seats do turn around, so they are fully, uh, you can turn them completely around. They're also exceedingly comfortable, so really, really nice, comfy seats. They are firm but fair. Um, one of my big, you know, complaints with any of these RV seats is that sometimes they're too soft, like you actually don't want to be sitting in a couch for a long period of time. Uh, and then this also has the upgraded lumbar support system with it, as well as heat. So both of these swivel, really great cab, lots of connectivity for your phone or whatever else it is that you're using to get your music into the coach. Um, underneath, we will have a step well cover. Um, it's pretty rudimentary, I'll tell you that. It's just carpet covered, but if you don't want the kids falling out, definitely is gonna come in handy. Uh, this little guy here, when you pull it, We'll detach your TV from the wall so you can swivel that out so everybody can see it. But before we go further at all, let's go ahead and let's turn or take turn. Let's take our slides in. Okay, so finishing up, it's refreshing my screen for me. I downloaded this earlier. Um, really cool. So again, all of that app connectivity that you have, you can have here. I'm just gonna hit confirm. And then I can go ahead and hit retract. Look at how fast this goes now. So, like I said, Lacey and Diana are a race car family. Uh, they're going to be getting on the road quicker than anybody else in their new RV. So I'm pulling in this whole slide in the back. And that's the bedroom slide. And again, this is a three slide model. Renegade makes a number of different floor plans for the XL as well as the Classic. Um, I wish I had our Bunk Model Classic here as well for you to look at. If I did, of course, then I could show you the compare and contrast. Um, they're both very, very nice units. Um, they're built differently. If you wanna know what the main difference is, it's in the way that they're constructed. But this floor plan is very similar on both models. So if you want a bunk over cab as opposed to an aero cab, this classic would give you even more uh, sleeping accommodations. It just depends on how many people you have traveling with you. Um, for my clients in this particular situation, it's the three of them. They don't really need any more uh, room than this, but look at how much room you have. I mean, dude, you could do all the laundry. You can definitely get to the bathroom. You could certainly blow dry your hair and you could go back and take a nap. Or if you were coming into a parking lot or maybe you're going to go to you know, a rest stop overnight and you don't feel like getting out of your coach and opening your slides because you don't know who's out there around you, you could totally live in this coach with your slides closed for that 24 hour period and be super comfortable. Well, probably not 24 hours, you're probably sleeping like 12, but whatever it is. Um, okay, so on the way out, just cover I love the way Renegade gives you so many uh, little adjustable uh, compartments so you can figure out what you want to keep in here. Um, you, maybe you want to take one of those out, maybe you want to keep water bottles, suntan lotion, who knows. Um, nice handle here. Also again, just nice that if you don't have your app synced, you still have an all on or all off uh, master switch here. 
So very cool. Um, we can turn our awning lines off and on here. So if it's getting a little bit dark and you want to turn the lights off and just hang out by the fire pit, you don't have to come into the coach to turn things on and off. You can just do it right here at the door. Uh, this is going to be your uh, chas or your, your house disconnect. This is going to be to lock your step. And then this is the button that you would push if you needed to choose your house batteries to start your coach because your chassis batteries were low. Um, the only downside with that is that somebody has to hold that button while you're cranking on the handle. Uh, and Grant Russell will tell you, just use tape. You don't need to have friends. Um, <laughs> I do think it's kind of weird though. All right, so screen door is pretty cool. Uh, it's magnetic, so if I didn't have my override on, I could close this, lock it, and the steps would come up. Um, but as you can see, I've got a lot of these. I've got five extra LED lights on the exterior of this coach just to give you a little bit better connectivity. Um, also, 315 80R22.5. So 315s in the front here. Big, old, heavy duty fatties uh, designed to give you the best traction. And then here again is the DD16 married to that beautiful Freightliner chassis. And most of the time, our battery jump points are on the uh, driver side. Just wanted to point out they're over here on the passenger side uh, in the P4 Cascadia chassis. Now there's a 116 and a 126. This is of course the big dog. Uh, you can get this uh, coach with a DD13 instead of a DD16. It would be a little bit shorter in the nose. Um, and then also it would still have 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. So instead of 500 horsepower in this one, you get 600 horsepower, but the torque rating's the same. So if you're looking for a shorter coach, I can get you into a 38 uh, with just the single rear axle or a 40 with the dualies, um, but you can still have a 40 foot coach. So for those of you out there in California that are also in the race game that are looking for a shorter coach, but still want the power, I can do that in this coach. So get you all of that torque. You won't have that high horsepower, but it's still good. Um, of course, we're using our Alcoa rims. Uh, we have also, uh, this is one of my favorite features of this RV. I love these uh, step plates because they're so grippy, even when it's snowy and yucky out. Uh, this coach came in in the snow. And then of course, I think it was like 25 degrees on Saturday. And then today it's gonna be 75. So 50 degree swing in Colorado, ain't nothing for us. Uh, here's that blind spot uh, radar. So. You've got these throughout the length of the coach. This is just letting us know who's next to us. Um, and then uh, one of the features I love about this is that you have this keyless entry, so you can go ahead and lock your keys in your coach and you can still get in and out without bringing your keys with you if you're doing like any kind of water sports or maybe you're horseback riding, anywhere you might lose your keys. Oh, Jody, I shouldn't have let it go. <laughs> another Samsung 43 inch television, another Bose soundbar. And then new in 2024, we started doing this thing where we stopped um, putting a wall in between the slide area. So it's so cool because with our Truma refrigerator freezer combination out here, we would have lost like, or I just had like this really awkward small little space. But instead you have all the space. And then this is an easy glide slide. Uh, this will come all the way out and it comes out fully extended. So even with your slide out, you still have access. And this is a great refrigerator. Look at how much room is in here. Lots and lots of room. So if you want to do bottle service on the left and then hamburger uh, and chicken and elk and all that other stuff on the right, you could do that. You can set this up however you'd like to have it. Uh, the Truma Dometic, everything that I've read, they both kind of have the same type of reviews online. I think it's kind of just a preference. That slide tray, if you're used to Dometic, would hold a Dometic as well. Um, but the Truma seems to be working great. Uh, this is that step cover I mentioned earlier, and then the air chalk. And then as you'll notice over here on the left, we also have that nice uh, grommet right there, which will allow you to put your blender in here, plugged in so that you can make your drinks outside instead of having to go all the way inside to that beautiful countertop. Um, okay, so now we're gonna get into uh, the difference maker. So of course this coach is running on hydronic heat. Uh, this boiler system is huge. And this is what is, so this aqua hot juice, let me know you watch my video, I'll give you a free gallon. 
Um, this aqua hot juice, when you uh, have this aqua hot juice heated and it's pumping through this tube underneath your coach, what it's doing is it's creating a hot liquid, a tube full of hot liquid, and it's pushing air over that, that tube, and that's what's giving you hydronic heat. So this coach has the optional in-floor heating, it has hydronic heat from your aqua hot unit, it has a tankless hot water heater, and it also has heat pumps. So lots of ways to stay cool. Now, one of the things we talked about earlier is on your class A coaches, here in the back you would have six wheels, and this would be an out at any, and this would be an Audi because these would actually be able to turn. On this coach, these are the two, so you can lock them here or lock them this way. So you can get basically uh, four by four, or if you really want to talk about it, eight eight by eight, because you've got eight wheels back here locked in to get that heavy load moving and out of your way when you're, or not out of your way, but out of someone else's way when you're getting on the road. So if you've got a big heavy stacker and you're trying to get a little more grip, this is your chassis right here. Oh, you know what, Jody? I forgot to turn off the generator. So I'm just gonna go over here to my app control. I'm gonna go to my power and I'm gonna hit stop. I just turned the generator off. I mean, it has got to be the coolest thing to have this Firefly app. This is the one thing that I really miss the most about my, uh, about my Renegade. Now I'm gonna try to extend this front awning, or sorry, rear awning, just a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty windy, so we'll see how happy it is. But I just wanted to show you these Gerard awnings. Um, I'm not going to go all the way because it's too breezy, I feel like, today. But as you can see, I'm just using my phone to do this. So I can hit a, a retract or deploy just from my phone and get these awnings out. Now, you'll see that these awnings on top, uh, you've got two awnings on the top. Um, so there's a larger one in the front, a smaller one in the back. Uh, but with these awnings, uh, on the other side, there is a feature where you can make it match so it looks the same. There are only awnings on this side of the coach though. So for those of you who have that question, try to answer as many things as I can in advance. Okay, so these are gonna be your slide locks when you have your slides in. If you wanna lock them in place, you can do that with these slide locks. I never used mine. I hear you're supposed to use them. Uh, again, we have our super heavy duty upgraded hitch. Uh, lots of connectivity depending on how you do it. I think Lacey said he's got a fifth wheel hitch that he uses on his stacker. And he has a beautiful stacker. If you want information about stackers, I got the address of this company because I'm really impressed with them. Um, porcelain tile floor right here underneath. So you've got some replacements. You've also got your central vac hose system. You can use that inside or outside, wherever you'd like. Of course, this is for your real hitch. You've got two of these pins. Let's see if I can get one out. Um, and again, this is your your Gen Y 30,000 pound receiver. You already saw the other two balls. You've got these here. You can change those heights. You've got your uh, Voyager control, your seven pin connector. Everything is all set up, ready to rock and roll. Again, we also opted for that extra camera in the back. And then you've got your overhead camera here and then another one of those LED light pockets. Again, we did five of those, just giving you better ability to see when you're out there track side, when you're trying to get everything set up. You can kind of see them glowing on this side, but it's just really nice light uh, to have out here. Oh shoot, Jody, you know what we have to do? It's time to be real. That'll be a funny be real. Okay, there we go. Uh, no, what we have to do is we have got to put the slide back out so that we can see those cool lights underneath the slide. So let me do that. Okay, so I know I mentioned it earlier, but just in case you weren't paying attention, you do have a 12.5 a quiet diesel generator by Onan. And again, uh, important things to remember about this system is this coach also has four lithium ion batteries. Again, 270 amp hours each, giving you a total of just over a thousand amp hours of storage. But that generator will just charge those in minutes. It'll be so fast. Um, now, what do I, what, oh, that's what I was doing. I, guess, I get so, you know, I'm either Katie O'Neill or you can call me Dory. Okay, right said, right front, yes, extend. Let's do it. Okay, so again, fastest slide in the west. I can even see it already glowing. I know you guys were messing with it earlier. Um, 
So if you can see the reflection, or you can just take a look underneath here, we've got this changing colors just to bring a better view to it. I have a client here today, he's like, oh my God, is it like glitching and it's like really spotty? No, it's just that your camera is uh, not able to broadcast a current uh, full-time stream of light. Uh, so your camera's catching uh, the, the flashing, but this is just really very seamlessly um, without any kind of ADHD rolling through the different colors. You could set it to be whatever, like if it was St. Patrick's Day, you could have it be green. If it was Easter, you could have it be pink. You could have it be red for Valentine's Day. Whatever you felt like doing, you could do here. Um, so someone said this is laser etched. This is actually a water jet that they used to do this. Um, but it is cool because you have this great uh, permanent feature where you know your gray tank, black tank, your black tank wash, your cable, all of that's just never gonna go away. It's never gonna wear off. Uh, you've got a power water hose, the hose reel button's right there. You also have FlowJet on this, so that's like your SantaCon system. It's just Renegade uses FlowJet, Numar uses SantaCon, and then you've got your sea level tank monitoring systems. This is a really funny thing, but I mean, in my Renegade, I was never over 66% of capacity. So I would just let the water fill my tanks until it started coming out of the top because it didn't have a 100%. So a lot of our clients started using sea level and uh, Renegade was like, hey, that's kind of a good idea. So they use it now too. Okay, so these are heated. There's your flow jet. Uh, your flow jet, as you can see, this is a lot smaller. Um, it's also clear so you can make sure that when you see something coming through it, it is also clear because uh, if it's not then keep running that water buddy uh, and then another again 75 gallon gray 75 gallon black right and then I don't know if you've noticed this but on my higher end coaches I do have this beautiful four color paint again I mentioned this earlier so this is the zenith with the black inlay so this line here on the zenith is typically red uh, but this has got the black inlay instead but I love the fact that our walls are color matched to uh, the interior or exterior slide as well. Oh, check this out. How about this? You know what? It's in my way. Why don't I just put it away? So why is this handy? This is handy because if you're trying to get up and get ready to go, or if there's a tree in your way, it's really nice to be able to be standing outside using this controller. Um, okay, so we talked about this. XLs come standard with two of these. Uh, this is the third and fourth are an additional cost, but this gives you um, your second inverter. So you've got something fully dedicated to air conditioning. If you are trackside, this is absolutely the way to go. I'm not always a fan of lithionics, but in that situation, absolutely handy. Uh, we looked earlier at the uh, air connection line. I don't know, it should probably be here underneath, but it's in that other bay on the other side. And then as you can see, there's your chassis batteries. And again, with that boost feature, you're doing pretty well. Uh, we've got a 13 gallon DEF tank, a 120 gallon fuel tank. Uh, why that's important again with that hydronic heat, if you're boondocking, you can go ahead and run your heat without being plugged into 50 amp. Um, and again, this chassis cab is so comfortable, so cool, but it's also very easy to get into. As you can see, you've got grab handles here, uh, grab handles here, you've got your door grab handle. I had a lady this weekend that just had had hip replacement surgery that was getting in and out of her Super C, like, like butter, like butter, like so easy. Um, as you can see, I like these latches much better for your chassis because you won't uh, actually cut your hand in them like I do on my Super C on my M2 106 Plus chassis. But um, if you haven't considered um, an XL because you think you need an Icon, I dare you to come and drive this coach and tell me you don't love it. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. Uh, this is going to a beautiful home, but I would be happy to get one here for you as well. Uh, I've got inventory, I've got things coming in. We've got tons of Renegade options for you. Uh, you can find me uh, every Monday at about 10.30 at 303-562-8659. And keep in mind, I'm at RV's Inside Out on YouTube, and you can find all of us here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV at TTT RV on YouTube, five days a week, three times a day, 
bringing you trucks, trailers, and RVs because this is the place where we've got it all. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know how I can get you on the road and camping.